Hey everyone, it's Noah and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a super quick video, but I wanted to make a video on how you can go ahead and how you can find profitable items from your wholesale supplier that a lot of people don't take advantage of. Most wholesale suppliers will usually run deals, discounts, or sales several times throughout the year. This could be because the items are new. It could be because the items are going out of stock. It could be because the items don't sell well, so the suppliers want to get rid of them. There could be a lot of reasons. However, it's really powerful to go ahead and take a look at these items and you can get items for really discounted prices and then sell them on Amazon or other marketplaces. This is how I find a lot of my items for FBA, even items that are extremely competitive. You can go ahead and you can get them from suppliers for extremely discounted rates. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. Jumping into my computer, there's several ways that you can do it. I'm going to use a supplier I always show in all of my videos, but this could literally work for any supplier. What you're doing is you're just looking for where it's going to say sale, or you're going to look for where they have the discounted items. Sometimes it might not be on the website and you would have to look through all the items individually. So it really depends on how your supplier allows you to sort through the items. Some suppliers are better than others and that goes for every aspect and this is no different. For this supplier, the reason I'm using it is because it's a really good example. It's right up here in the top left corner. It just says sale, I click it. And then right here, I see the active sales and I can click into this and I can find the items that are on sale. Now, the downside with this supplier is that they don't give you a CSV. So you can't just go ahead and run all these items through a software and find out which items are selling, what is the potential profit. So I usually have my virtual assistant go in. She records all the prices. She actually does the research. And then after that, she lets me know if any item is a certain rank on Amazon or if any item is worth buying in bulk. So as you can see, this supplier makes it really easy. Now, like I said, not every supplier is going to make it this simple. If you can't find it where it says sale, discount, or anything like that on the supplier's website, I would also go ahead and I would check the website just to see if you find any items that are discounted price. If you can't, then I would always recommend emailing your supplier. It never hurts to email your supplier asking if they have any active sales going on or if they run sales throughout the year. Again, not every supplier is going to run them all the time. Sometimes they might only do it for one week a year. Maybe they do it for just getting rid of items at the end of the year. It never hurts to ask because you can go ahead and you can find some great deals. So just to review the steps, when you're looking at a wholesale supplier, always check to notice if you can find something that says sales or it's going to say deals or it can say discounted items, etc. So you can take a look on the homepage. A lot of times they'll have it right on the homepage. So here I don't see anything and I can go and I can take a look at the items. So we can take a look at the items from the supplier. Nothing here, nothing says discounted. I can even take a look at some of the prices. So it says 98, we could take a look. So nothing here that's showing that it's slashed out or that it's on sale. And if we take a look at the bottom, we see planters, vases, shop ball. So again, nothing indicating that they have a deal or that they have a section for sales. So instead, what I would do is I would just email them asking, hey, do you run periodic sales or discounts throughout the year on your items? And if so, how do you notify your buyers or how can I get notified? Will I see it on the website? Will I get emailed a file? This has allowed me to find so many profitable items. And then I usually send those items into FBA. These are items that I'm buying in bulk. It does work a little bit for drop shipping. If you happen to get an order for that item at that right time, maybe you can lower your prices, but that is a video for a different time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Also, let me know in the comments what other videos you want to see, what other topics you want discussed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.